What happens when adventure games meet Star Wars? Well, we're going to find out. Hey guys and welcome to Yak Wax Slips. My name is Michael, your point and click adventurer, and this is Trailer Talk, the show where I'm going to be looking at a couple of adventure game trailers. We're talking about them, dissecting them, and yeah, just letting you know what's going on with the adventure game world today. And the big news is Star Wars is coming. Not only Star Wars, but today's news also shared that Telltale Games are back. So more of that to come. If adventure games are your cup of tea, it'd be awesome if you could hover down there, smash that like button, go and hit the subscribe button, and why not the notification bell too, so you don't miss any more of my videos. Should we have a look at Star Wars? Let's go. Star Wars Eclipse, and that's coming from Quantic Dreams. Quantic Dreams are the guys behind uh, Heavy Rain, uh, Beyond Two Souls, and uh, Detroit from a couple of years ago. Are they adventure games? That is an entirely another conversation to have. I love Heavy Rain. I think it's brilliant. I was a bit so-so on Beyond Two Souls, but um, yeah, I enjoyed it. It's They're very heavily narrative, but so I've been reading, the Star Wars game is going to head towards the more action version. So, is it going to be an adventure game? I don't know, but it's from Quantic Dreams. I'm super excited. I really like The High Republic, which is the new series that came out around about a year ago now, which is set 200 years before The Phantom Menace, um, 800 years after The uh, Old Republic. So if Star Wars is your bag, first make sure that you read The High Republic stuff and a load of other stuff. The Acolyte is coming out on Disney at some point. That's a whole other genre. But uh, I don't know what that was. Uh, but yeah, I am stoked for this game. I love Star Wars. I really like Quantic Dream. So let me know down in the comments below what you think about it. And yeah, that was Star Wars Eclipse. And the second big news is that Telltale Games are back. I've heard stories about you. I know you've been a rock hopper. So you survived the crushing black of space. You worked the docks on the series. 
so you don't put up with any bullshit. You were Dawes' attack dog, so you don't have any problems killing inners or belters who disagree with the OPA. I've heard quite a bit about you, Kamina Drummer. It's hard to tell if it's all true, though. Truth is truth. How you deal with it is up to you, Boss Mang. Now, I've been hiding behind a rock because I have no idea what The Expanse is, but apparently it's a TV show. The trailer's more of a teaser, so I don't know what the gameplay is going to be. Telltale were known for, again, similar to Quantic Dreams, more narrative, not so much gameplay as such. Um, some of them are point and click, some of them are not. A Tales of Monkey Island, for example, which you definitely should play. Um, I'm playing it right now. There's a link. But you've got The Wolf Among Us, The Walking Dead, a lot of quick time events are in there. I guess you could say it's a modern point and click without the point and click. There's not much more known about this except for what the trailer is. If you know about the TV show, then you might be really interested. I'm interested because it's the first new thing from the new Telltale. So let me know again down below. What do you think about that? So those two games look massive. So I think it's time that we come back on a smaller scale. Let's have a look at this one. That there is a Plague Doctor of Wipra and it comes from Electrocosmos. And it's published by Application Systems Heidelberg who are well known amongst the indie adventure game community. What I like about this trailer is of course pixel art, you all know I love pixel art, but the seriousness of it. A lot of pixel art games these days kind of lean towards the humour and comedy side, which I don't have a thing against, but it's really refreshing to find something come up which has just a dark tone throughout. That's due out at the start of 2022, so if you like the look of that, let me know in the comments below. And also have a look in the description because you can go and wishlist it and um, yeah, just have a look at it more. And sticking with another Application Systems Heidelberg game, check out this. Yes, I know it's not point and click. It's just kind of a puzzle adventure, but it looks cool. And again, it's Application Systems Heidelberg and every game I've played that they've published is great. Sonority comes from Hanging Gardens Interactive and comes out at the start of 2022. Like I said, it's not point and click, but they kind of sometimes go hand in hand. So I'm gonna squeeze it in there because it looks fun. I don't know anything more about that game. So if you want to check it out yourself, have a look in the description below and I'll have all the links to all of the games. And that's it from me for another trailer talk for another week. Thanks very much for watching, guys. If you've enjoyed it, again, please smash that like. It really does help the video get further afield. So thanks very much, guys. Have a wonderful morning, afternoon, evening, whatever it is you're doing right now. Take care.